So I, I'm not into TikTok. I don't, I don't, I'm not against people being in it or other government officials. Hindi na talaga bagay sa akin. Hindi talaga. There are two things that we need to see. Uh, number one, we need to see the end, how we're going to get to the end of this pandemic. All we've been hearing are issues that are related to the crisis, but not related to solving this pandemic. We need to hear when the vaccine and how much the vaccines, how much vaccines will be arriving and where it will be distributed. Without that, people are desperate. Every day I'm in the office and every day I receive letters, requests for help. Their bills for COVID-related uh, hospitalization reach 1.2 million, 1 million. And we were talking about families that earn no more than 30 to 40,000 a month. So. Down below, people are desperate, but above this, we are not hearing anything of direction and of hope for the country to go to. Um, last one is everyone is talking about the elections, and I think it's not important for the candidates to speak to speak about how, will, how they will end this pandemic. I think it's up to the current president to say so. I think the the six and eight months that he has left or the nine months that he has left is enough to solve all of this if they do it right i think i want uh, the country wants to hear from the candidate is where did we go after this who's prepared to go after this pandemic who's prepared for the recovery of the country who's prepared with the best foreign policy to help the country achieve economic growth and um, political parity with the rest of the region who is prepared to defend our rights, the rights of the sovereign rights of our country, and who's prepared to help the Philippines rise up again and realize the potential that it's had all along. We've tried everything. We've tried to be very strict, almost to the point of being fascistic about it. We've tried to be lax and the people will do what they can do. You cannot arrest them for doing that. Unless it's a national policy of a hard lockdown, which is the only thing which works. I think people will try to gain the system all the time. We have the most active police force who arrest everyone who give them citations. But it's not enough. It's not enough. The country needs firm leadership on what to do. We, we have a very mobile police force who are very vigorous about enforcing it. But the national policy is very hazy on what we really have to do. Uh, it, it's a very frustrating and confusing part of what we do in the local government. Well, I'd be a hypocrite to say that I'm against it because I'm part of one. I'd be a hypocrite to say that it's bad for the country because I'm part of a multi-generational dynasty. It's it's what the country allows us to do. It. Um, the, the leadership is only as good as its options. And if you give that option to the political families, they're going to try their best to, to maintain it. And hopefully those who do maintain it do a good job for their for their for the people they serve. I think it's about time that the country matures in its politics. I think that it's about time that the country has more choices in its leaders. I think it's about time that people hear different voices offering alternatives. Um, that the hard part of a dynasty is that the message doesn't change. You hardly see a transformative candidate, um, uh, transformative leader passing it on from one generation to the next they usually speak the same language and i think the country deserves to hear more voices out there and what they have to offer <laughs>